being cut quite massively, yet uh, we have the money to bomb Libya. And, uh, you know, I, I used to support the war in Iraq back in 2003 when I was a young man. I even joined the army to go and, to go and kill uh, terrorists. I did. But um, I thought once we got all their oil in Iraq, we would be rich again. But something happened. What happened was the corporations got very rich. Uh, Fred the Shred and uh, RBS did very well. They're now in the Caribbean laughing at all of us. But uh, what this is about, I guess, is inspiration. About all of us realizing that Information, inspiration. information and inspiration that once you realize that you're actually a special human being, very special, you can do whatever you want. You can actually today, in fact, I hope many of the business people here today will go back to their bosses after lunch today and tell the boss to stick the job where the sun don't shine. Because I'm sure, I'm sure when you were like teenagers or when you were kids, you didn't grow up wanting to be an actuary or an accountant or an investment manager, you wanted to be firemen and astronauts and, and a, a window cleaner, you know? Yeah, that's right. That's what you wanted to be. Cleaning windows. Yeah. I bring light into people's lives by that's cleaning right. windows. That's right. God bless you. I've got enough customers. I'll tell you what, I need some more customers because this man wants me to employ him. So if anybody would like the windows cleaned and you live in North London or nearby, or not the business cards. Or Scotland. He's got a lot of travel and stuff. Or Prague. Or any, any capital in the world, okay? This guy will clean the windows. I will clean your windows. And, uh, I will bring more only, light into your life. More won't, light will enter your place corrupt. of dwelling. You won't get any of his brothers. You see clearer clear when you're home. But he won't use any of his brothers to corrupt people to give you more business. No, probably not. I might do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Occupy the London Stock Exchange movement. But as you can see just in front of me there, they've kind of blocked off Paternoster Square with a bunch of police vans and metal barricades. But the establishment dealt itself a terrible propaganda loss by blocking us from Paternoster Square because how much more cinematic and epic is this scene here at St. Paul's? I mean, if we were in there, none of the traffic going past all those tourists and those open-top buses would see any of this. But now that we're in front of St. Paul's, one of the biggest uh, tourism sites in London, the whole world can see us. All those tourists going past on the buses can see it. And so it's very, very good. <laughs> When, when did life have to become like blando, blando, blando? You know? Yeah, he, uh, he drowned when? himself, all right, to, for you guys. You know that. He when, drowned, he drowned, when, when, he drowned when himself. When did hypocrisy, you know, become... Our fellow brother here did that. I know, you, I, I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,